Good evening, I'm Jessica Cartalia. And I'm Yuki Washington. We begin at 6 with the latest on the search and rescue effort in Upper Makefield Township. It's now day four of the search for two children caught in the flash floods. Authorities have searched the entire flood zone, but if there is no discovery today, efforts will shift to a dive based search operation. River Road has reopened. We have team coverage of the aftermath in Bucks County. Let's start with CBS Philadelphia reporter Dan Snyder. He spoke with the fire chief. Dan? An update. The two are still missing. Still no sign of two year old Maddie Shields or her nine month old brother Conrad, believed to be swept away in Saturday's tragic flash flooding that's left at least five people dead. Crews have spent the last three days throwing everything they have into the search ground search, water search, sonar, river, canine, cadavers. We are still in the process of searching. Fire Chief Tim Brewer says teams have searched the entire mile and a half flood zone more than a dozen times. And the tracking logs are over 160 miles, meaning that we have backtracked several times. And still no sign of the Shields children. But search and rescue officials say they could be changing tactics soon. Chief Brewer revealed if crews don't find anything Tuesday night, they'll shift their focus to a dive rescue operation. And that will mean underwater assets mainly in the creek, and we will work out from there. But even with a change of tactics, Brewer stresses the mission remains the same. We'll continue to do so, and until we find what we're looking for, which obviously are our two missing angels. Brewer says multiple agencies from all around the Delaware Valley have come here to Bucks County to help with the search efforts. He also thanked the community for their outpouring of support for first responders and for the families of victims. In Upper Makefield Township, Dan Snyder, CBS News, Philadelphia. The community will come together Thursday night to remember the victims of the flash flooding. A vigil will be held at Washington Crossing United Methodist Church beginning at 7 o'clock. And we're told everyone is welcome to attend the service.